Thank you. Good to go. Thank you, Dexter. Good to go. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. This is Chef Cheryl, and this is the Chef and with Cheryl show. We are brought to you by the LA South Chamber of Commerce Hope Foundation, where we're helping other people every day. We thank you so much for coming to join us. This is the Chef Cheryl Show, and we talk about food, but we also talk about what goes on in the world because we need to be informed. And of course, we use food as our, you know, as definitely a vehicle because we all have to eat lovely people, okay? <laughs> I have the wonderful Natasha Peterson here with me Hi, from Aiden's house. She is my guest today, and you know, our topic for this month is mental health awareness, okay? Now this, you know, I could go all over the, I could go all over the place here, but this month to me is very special, okay? Because we are addressing something that should be addressed every day. I'm sorry, we cannot just um, minimize this to every, you know, a month a year, okay? Because if we understand, and, and, and I really just have to be transparent and, um, honest with everybody here because that's just how I want to be but there's so much going on in the world right now that as you know I talked to people I said this is an interesting decade okay I'm not even gonna say year I'm gonna say decade because when 2020 started a whole lot of stuff started happening that has been attacking our mental health okay so I mean we're in the month of May right now and this is 2022 the things that are going on in this country, on this country, are enough for us to go just run tail and hide. You know, <laughs> it's just really interesting. Exactly. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about some of these things. You know, this isn't doom and gloom, but this is what we deal with every single day. Okay, and you know, we can minimize that every hour. <laughs> okay, every hour. Okay, so our topics here on the Chef and Cheryl show this month is going to be healthy comfort food. Now, you know, food is we have to have it. It is something that we need for sustenance and to be able to um, sustain ourselves on this planet. And we find that um, in our stressful situations, we tend not to eat right. You know, we tend to, uh, you know, reach for that, you know, pint of ice cream or or yes. something sweet or something, yes. you know, yes. and it's, it's really counterproductive to our mental state, you know, so we need to think about what's really good for us, okay? Yes, it, the sweetness may be a, a, what do you call it, a temporary, you know, just a temporary something, yes. but, you know, but seriously temporary thank you mm -hmm. temporary gratification so we need to think of things that are going to sustain us even you know anytime we eat something you're making a choice you're either making a choice to do good for yourself or do bad for yourself every time you put something in your mouth so that's something that we need to be mindful of really we need to be mindful of that okay so healthy comfort foods i asked natasha i said well what does she do when she gets stressed you know what do you eat you know, and she told me sweet potato fries and, and salad and green yes. salad. And, you know, that's just awesome because those foods are comforting. They're also very nutritious. So I said, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make what she wants. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do an egg salad and we have some hard boiled eggs here and we've got our little, uh, our egg yolks going on here, but we're also going to do some sweet potato fries. Okay. Okay. So what I have here is where's my little bowl? Here it is, right here. So we took the sweet potato, wonderful mm -hmm. sweet potatoes. You know, they're very good for you. <laughs> and um, I chopped them up with some olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of seasoning. So we're gonna mm -hmm. put them here. Something good is about to happen to me at any moment. Okay. Oh, oh, wonderful pan. Right. And Thank again, you. I always encourage people to cook. We're going to talk about that a little later. But, you know, cooking is therapy. It's really good for you. And the benefits are awesome. But here's the wonderful thing. At the end of that, you have something very good to eat. Okay. And mm -hmm. also, you made it yourself. 
right? So you've made it yourself. Now that's empowering. Two, you know, you, you put your hands on it. And three, you know, somebody else you may be cooking for would appreciate it better. You'll appreciate it more. No, I really can't, you know, that In-N-Out Burger. I love that In-N-Out Burger. Don't get me wrong. In California, we're going to go through that drive through But when you make your own fries and you make your own burger, you feel a little bit more empowered. You know, In-N-Out, they're empowered. They're way empowered, okay? So we're going to be empowered ourselves, okay? So we're going to make it, we're making sweet potato fries. So if we can put this in the okay, now, Natasha does not cook. We're not going to, we're not going to taste it. But she don't cook, so she what? don't, she, I'm sorry. So she all the say, time. <laughs> she goes there. She goes there all the way of what I'm cooking, but she she's definitely here to have an apron on just okay. in case. <laughs> that apron on just in case. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, <laughs> but you know, comfort food can be a lot of things. Okay, you know, su- sweet potatoes are very comforting. You know, and, to, and we're doing egg salad. Eggs are protein. Eggs are very good food for your diet, as far as your stress level, you know, your proteins and everything, um, salmon, tuna, you know, the um, fish that's high in omega-3s, fish good is also good too, you know, really uh, good lean cuts of meat, turkey, uh, uh, beef, veal, you want to go for the better cuts. We need to understand that even though we may, uh, our food budget may not be the best budget, but if we buy the better foods, it will be better for us. So we just have to keep this in mind because again, we have to say this all the time, your health is your wealth. And if you're not taking care of your health, what are you doing? Okay, so because this is something as far as being an entrepreneur, you need to have that energy, you need to have that stamina, you need to be thinking correctly to manage your business. So it's just really important. It just really comes back around to um, eating well, to just eating well. So I have lovely Natasha here, who is with Aiden's house. Yes. And she told me a little bit about the business, which, yes. I, which I'm just so happy to see here. <laughs> and one of the things that she told me about was emotional wellness. And that just, you know, the bells and whistles went out. <laughs> okay, because I know how it is to be emotionally wealthy. I work on this, you know, and, but I never had a, uh, I never had a phrase for it. I understood that if I cooked well, if I kept my family together, if I, you know, did things to, that are positive, okay? I mean, just positive, that adds to your emotional wealth. So I'm going to let Miss Natasha talk a little bit about it, okay? Sure. Please, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. As she said, I'm Natasha with Aiden's House. We are a nonprofit helping families and children with special needs. We've been working in active in the community since 2014. And just to go back, I recall um, in 2014, 2015, I was experiencing, uh, I'm going to be transparent, chronic depression. I did not know that, but I was not in a, a right state or feeling well, something was happening. And it was then I was approached to, with Aiden's house to have the toy giveaway. And that very first toy giveaway for about 30 children in special education class just brightened my heart. I had volunteers, friends and parents, it brightened their hearts and it just changed my mission, my what I wanted to do with Aiden's house until this year we still, up currently, we have our toy drive. It's personal and meaningful for me. And I know, and I've seen how it affects others in that way. And it's just fun. Something lighthearted and just fun for a bit. Just a big kid with that. But back to what I was saying. With that, I've learned, I have a program now called Emotional Wealth. And I always kind of go backwards. I start with something and I go back and give the the history of it. Well, this emotional wealth, and it's a uh, following from April being financial literacy month, stress awareness month as well. I and then March prior to that, women's history month as well. So following that, and now we're here with mental health awareness month. I just it's it's, it's an intersection. It is everything 
finally combined. I've been working on this for a long time. And I just, when I was invited, Chef, thanks for inviting me. I said, the time is now. The emotion, Emotional Wealth Program is a program we are definitely going to speak with financial literacy. We're going to talk about, yes, we're going to talk about our emotions in relation to finances. If I say credit or credit score, how do you feel right now? I stress actually? out. I stress out. <laughs> thank thank God. I, I can talk because I have comfort food on the way. So I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry to do that to you. Sorry to do that to you. That's okay. <laughs> this is a program also for special need moms. So there's about 15 special need mothers, those with children with special needs and those uh, children without uh, special needs and their single mothers that have been working really hard to do this. We're going to practice. We're going to talk about our credit score. We're going to start from the beginning with banking. We're going to talk about housing, especially in California, even an apartment, if that's what you choose. We're going to work on where you are. And if you want to build, build. If you like where you are, we're going to work with that and maintaining that as well as your emotions. So in small things like this, you won't go emotional eating and probably go to in and out when you have a full refrigerator. And you just I didn't have to say in and out Everybody can relate. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with eating out. Exactly. You know, but it's a, mm -hmm. sometimes when you look at your bank account, you're like, okay, it's affecting your finances mm -hmm. in many ways. Mm -hmm. And we do know that. I know that mental health, it affects you. It, Finances can affect your mental very health. Very much so. Very much so. Mental health. Very much mental. so. So mm. this program, we will work and we will have coaches and professionals to help us through because there's going to be a lot of transitioning and transparency going with that. So we want to have this at the, probably in, in September, end of the year, carrying on. And I can share more about it. Well, actually, you guys will see more about it. But um for the emotional health and, and more so a little bit about me was that probably also in 2015, since about four years since then, each year I lost a loved one. I lost a loved one and at times it was tragic. It, it's a loss is a loss. And then following that, I went to purchase property and that was not what I expected in a loss. So when you get to a point, when I got to a point that I wanted to actually give up, and then we have emotional wealth. And it's so much that we are putting into this. I'm really excited for everyone, the participants. It is not just the participants we're going to help, but we are going to help the community as well. That's what's going on with me. <laughs> we had enough time, but we can talk a little more about me and emotional wealth. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, that really emotional wealth is, you know, that that phrase just says a lot to me because I'm a people person and I love having people around and and um and I love my family. I come from a great big family, so mm -hmm. I'm having family reunions. I was at a, a, a an event last Sunday where a lot of my neighborhood people came, a lot of my high school people there. And it was it was so empowering. So when I was, you know, texting with, with the lady that uh, had put it together, I said, this is good therapy. So this yeah. is therapy. You know, I, I'd seen people I had not seen in 10, 15, 20 years, you know. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm an elder. I'm getting up there. But there are people, my sister, um, who's older than me, you know, her peers were there. And I'm looking at them. And it's, oh, I'm 70. I'm like, <laughs> Really? I want to grow up to be like you. But it was just so empowering because I remember when I was a little kid and I was running around and they, you know, and they haven't changed any. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, they're wealthy. In my mind, I'm wealthy because I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you. All those wonderful endorphins come out. There was no money involved, okay? <laughs> so, you know, we talk about wealth, but you think about this money. There was no money involved. It was just the idea of being around people that are wonderful to me, that are comforting to me, you yes. know, that are in my best interest because I have their best interests, you know, and that to me is emotional wealth. You cannot, um, your bank account should be on full. 
And, and guess what? You can make deposits all the time to this, okay? I mean, just, you know, I mean, I, I really make it a point being a, a people person mm -hmm. that when I talk to people, I like to engage them. I just don't want to be somebody, I, you know, I'm just talking to, you know, like right. even, <laughs> even the cashier, even the cashier, I may say something about, Oh yeah, you know you this, the the avocados are soft today. I mean, I'll engage them. You know what I'm saying? Right. And just just a little back and forth, and I get a smile out of them. You know what I'm saying? That that's all they needed. You know, if you could just give them that little bit of you know just a little positivity right there. Yes. That's a deposit. It is. That's a deposit. That's a deposit for me. And my it wasn't a withdrawal for me because I was able to deposit something right in that person's emotional wellness. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and, and they may, Lord knows what they got up to that morning. Lord knows what they're going through. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So if you can just give them that one little bit, you know, just a <laughs> smile. That's what we said, a smile goes a long way. It doesn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And in and, 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 and the world that we're in now, we're kind of scared to do that because we don't know, but we still have to forge on. We still have to keep being ourselves in spite of, <laughs> in, in, in spite of what, what goes on in the world, you know, because um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It, um, it occurred to me how wealthy I was. My family, there's many ways in which you value as well, which you count as well. Mm -hmm. And my family, I am not rich. I'm wealthy. That's and right. That's right. situation that I had where I felt defeated and I did not tell my family and just so happened though they were all coming to town from out of town to visit and I haven't seen them in a while and so I dare not want to tell them what I've been going through but yet yeah. still walking in after that long day and walking in to see my family there coming in one by one uh, from the airport and unpacking yes. and they stayed for a good week and that was the best therapy and that then I said I am so wealthy and just so blessed to have that my two sons I have enjoy them as well my sons love family as well <laughs> and I see why awesome. he wants awesome. to be around that's them that's an awesome yeah it's, it's, a really nice. thing. Mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing it's you know family we, we can never get past family because those are the foundations of what keep us together Mm -hmm. And what we kind of what we see in this world, and this is this is an observation. This is what I see in the world. I see that people aren't held up. They're not held up in a good way. You know, they're you know they're not raised a certain. I mean, I, I didn't have too many grandmothers when I was, but I had lots of aunts and uncles. Okay, and there was I couldn't do anything wrong. Okay, <laughs> because there was somebody say, "Don't do that." Uh -uh, uh -uh. And, and of course, we grew up in a neighborhood. I grew up in a neighborhood where you know if you did something wrong the neighbor was gonna get your behind before you got home and then that night you got your butt beat okay but those were foundations yes. because we understood right from wrong those people you know that neighbor that you know that popped my butt in my in my pants they did it out of love yeah you know what i'm saying so as i am stand before you a loving person wanting to help i know there's some things i'm just not going to do Raising my children, I did the same thing. My children know there's just some things they're not going to do, okay? I'm gonna say that again, there's just some things you're not going to do, okay? So yeah. those are foundations. Those are foundations that we stand on and they're yeah. very solid, you know? So that's what I think we, and I'm saying this, we as black people have. We have foundations. And when those foundations are gone, that's when we have the mental illness. That's when we have the insecurity and all the other things that come along, all the other mental disabilities that come along. Because when you are supported mm -hmm. and when you're loved and when you feel somebody has your back, that's strengthening, that's empowering. It it's is. really empowering. So what we see in the world is we see that people don't have these foundations. They're, you know, they're, they're unstable. They're not really sure. You know? mm -hmm. And it can make them angry. It can, it, it can make them angry. And so that's a, a lashing out. It always comes back to something mental. <laughs> it really all comes back to it something does, mental. Does. You know, it, it's, it's just, go ahead, please. Well, I'd like to add that mm -hmm. um, as a single mother mm -hmm. and with two 
sons and, and one with a disability. And my family really did. And I see I'm getting a little, it's okay. No, 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 please, no, please. Because uh -huh. they were my foundation. They helped exactly. me out as I was working my nine to five and balancing work and appointments. And they were always and somehow there. And I know they had families and, mm -hmm. and careers and such. So I'm right. always grateful mm -hmm. for that and the foundation. As I mentioned before, why my boys are so crazy about family, being around family and light up when they see them now is because of that and that exactly. foundation. And they have that instilled in them that they know they have someone exactly. out there. If I say, if one exactly. moves to Vegas and I say, oh, you got family out there, just mm -hmm. let me know. Yeah. You got somebody that got your back. <laughs> but I, I want to say that you touched on something about uncertainty. Mm -hmm. and, and when that happens, that also leads you know, not everyone's going to share when they're feeling this way uh, often. They don't want to feel like they're burdened or trying to be embarrassed. But they also are opened up to vulnerability. Right. Being taken advantage, seeking the wrong advice, spending money, even the wrong way, taking the wrong risk and such. They don't know, getting involved in the wrong groups and such, um, becoming, developing addictions or habits and such in that way too. So I know as a family, you don't want to pry. Some people will let people live, right? But it's just good to let them know, maybe a text or so many ways to communicate to say, hey, I'm thinking about you, smiley emoji, and nothing more. And it gives an opportunity to talk and respond and let them know, be open when they're ready so you know what's going on with them. Exactly. Exactly. And I wanted to add to something that you were just saying about being vulnerable. Um, you know, there's power in being vulnerable, okay? Yes. Because mm -hmm. if you can tell somebody where you're coming from and what's going on with you, mm -hmm. they don't have to guess. Yes. They don't have to guess. <laughs> they ain't got to come back and wonder. So there yes. is power. I mean, it, it it's, okay, it's okay to cry. It's okay to tell somebody what you're going mm -hmm. through. Now, it may be who you're telling, yes. but <laughs> still, you know, it, there there is some power mm -hmm. in being vulnerable, okay? Because you're being transparent. Exactly. And transparent is being honest. So to me, that's powerful. It that's, is powerful. very powerful, mm -hmm. you know. And so this, this is just, you know, I, I, I one of the things I, I, I do food. I'm a chef, okay. <laughs> but I talk about people because this is what people people are going to eat my food. And me being in close proximity with them and working in their kitchen and working with them, I'm able to learn a lot from them, and they teach me a lot. Yes. You know, because and so and, and that to me again <laughs> is emotional wealth. Okay, it is. You know, it, it is. It's a definitely transactional. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I I just don't mind saying these things that might be a little hard to say. You know, because um, I mean, well, look, we're dealing with mental illness. We're dealing with mental health. This is not an easy subject, but yet it's something we need to be discussing every day, or at least it, it it's on our mind. At least it's on. So I want to talk about again, you know, the healthy eating part. Mm -hmm. Now I have some avocados here. I was in the grocery store for at least 15 minutes just because none of the avocados are right. <laughs> so I found a nice one, okay? Avocados are really good in protein, they're high in protein, really good for your disposition. You know, guacamole never hurt nobody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so avocado, please, you know, eat a avocado every day or eat some sort of avocado, you know, product. OK, right. and I'm always talk about healthy greens. OK, when she said that she eats a salad when she gets stressed out, that to me said, oh, my gosh, she's got it. OK, <laughs> so healthy greens. I know if you've been on the self chef, chef and with Cheryl show, you know, I say we should eat greens at least every day. OK, because, of course, greens, we know are ox, ox, excuse me oxygen so we're oxygenating our bodies yes. at the same time and our brain needs oxygen you know the first thing that happens you know if, if we're not breathing what are they saying the brain needs oxygen okay so that's why we should be eating leafy green vegetables okay now here's some comfort food that um i'm a hummus person okay <laughs> i love hummus okay what is hummus it's beans olive oil uh, uh what garlic <laughs> You know, tahini, everything, everything healthy, okay? Right. So I'm a, I'm a hummus fan, okay? And it's nice comfort food, I think because of the texture. You know, it, it, it being <laughs> being Middle Eastern, it's Mediterranean food. You know, we, 
our, our diet is, I'm not going to say it's limited, but we tend to have certain things that we eat. Yes. We need to, you know, kind of get away from that and eat all types of foods, all types of cuisines, because, you know, they're all healthy. I don't want to go there, but they're all healthy. <laughs> healthy you know so this is another something that i make and it's called zoog and what and it's a, it's um it's an herb paste okay so what i have in here may not be too attractive but it's very good okay <laughs> it is a uh, parsley cilantro garlic olive oil and lemon almost like how you would prepare the uh the hummus Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you really want to make it, you know, really good, you can put nuts in this. I didn't put any nuts in it, but it's an herb paste, almost like a chimchurri. You can use, you can put it on your sandwiches. You can eat it in dip. You can put it on your meats. It's just a really, really good something to have. Okay. You can find it in Trader Joe's, but you can make it yourself. You can make it yourself. It's called Zoog, C-H-O-U-G. And we will put the, um, the recipe at the, um, in the notes. For, for the future okay so here's our egg salad and i don't know mm. if you saw me while miss natasha was um was talking but you know there's always always different ways to uh do egg salad i'm i when i worked at mattel and i saw somebody making egg salad <laughs> now mind you i was working at mattel this is the world's largest toy maker mm -hmm. and i was working in the cafeteria so that to me is like oh my god all these different people eat okay but i saw the chef great the egg whites okay and I said wow that's pretty cool you know what I'm saying because it's it was uniform usually in an egg salad the eggs are just chopped any type of way but because he shredded them like he shredded cheese to me that was an attractive thing so I, and, and that's, that's something that I've learned in cooking everybody teaches everybody's doing something so i know when you're watching those those cooking shows and you're saying oh i want to do this oh i want to do that that means you need to be watching the cooking show with the stuff in front of you you know right. and, and doing it okay so here's our yeah i'm gonna let you take it. i'm gonna let you put it on top of your salad i'll put it on top of your salad and i'm gonna check on this real quick okay oh our excited yay Okay, I am there's a towel, right? You can have it to me, please. Is there a towel right over there? Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, so these French fries. Okay, about five more minutes. Five more minutes. Oh, they look delicious. Uh -huh. The benefit of cooking. That's your fork right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the benefits of cooking. I can put any bag. Paper towel. Paper towel. <laughs> I just love it. I've usually been doing the Chef and Michelle. In the beginning, I was doing the Chef and Michelle show live. And I have people with me and then, you know, and then COVID hit and things happened. So now that I have somebody with me, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Happy. I'm happy too. <laughs> you want me to try now? Please, please, please. Okay. But the benefits of cooking, I cannot impress on you enough how much it helps for you to come in the kitchen, even if it's just to boil water for some spaghetti. Okay. You will feel so much better. Okay, because you did it yourself. You are empowering yourself. Mm -hmm. Even on a bad day, if you were to come in and say, okay, look, I'm going to make a salad. Or I'm going to cook a hard boiled egg. That, you know, what do we do? We cook some hard boiled eggs. eggs. So we put some mayonnaise and everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have something wonderful for it. It's empowering. And that really, 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 did I say really, really, really? helps <laughs> your mental health, you know, because we have to be, um, mindful of what we do because everything we do um it affects something mm -hmm. everything we do affects something so of course okay i'm gonna say this you know when you're going in the drive through mm -hmm. and you got the kids in the back seat they're gonna think oh drive through is it you know okay look oh shoot we got the we got the burger we got the you know we got the fry or something you know and the <laughs> panda express you know so they're gonna think that's how food is supposed to be mm -hmm. prepared 
they'll grow up thinking that the drive through is supposed to be the thing that's going to feed them. No, no. They need to grow up seeing you in the kitchen, chopping and cutting and baking and frying and sauteing. Mama, what you doing? Oh, we're cooking, son. We're cooking. Come on, let's come on in. Can I help you? Can I cut the vegetables? Sure. You are empowering your people. You are empowering them to do for themselves. You know, my children cook for themselves. You know, they're attractive. I have sons. They're attractive, okay? Because there's women that don't cook, okay? <laughs> They're like, oh shoot, Ooh, he can cook, he's attractive. So, but again, and that adds to you the emotional wealth. It, that emotional wealth, it really adds to you. Okay. I can't okay. impress on that. Thank you. I cannot, <laughs> I can't impress on you enough that you know when you're in the kitchen. I grew up in the kitchen. So, you know, it, it was the best place in the house. Because that's where love was. Everybody was in the kitchen. They were talking. They were laughing. You know, everybody was eating. You know, um, we didn't have a whole lot of arguments. Might have been you're not you're not you know stirring that right or something. You know, <laughs> but that's where you know that's where a lot of good energy was from. Mm -hmm. So that's why, interesting enough, I am in someone's kitchen making my living. You know what yes. I'm saying? So it, it kind of all comes back. It really all comes back to you, you know. So that's when I talk, that's where it just comes back. I just come right back around to foundations. When you have foundations, you cannot, I cannot instill on you enough. And guess what? Foundations can be built at any time. We can't say, oh gosh, I didn't do it back then. You can do it now. You can definitely build something now for people to stand on, for you to stand on, because that will help in your mental state. It will. definitely will help in your mental state. So there's just some things here. I just have some notes here I wanted to go over as far as, you know, what's really good in your, you know, for your mental state. Cooking, we just talked about that. Mm -hmm. Eating together. We're communal people. You know, um, we should be looking at each other when we're eating. Right. You know, because it, it, I don't know, it's, it's just something is mental, excuse me, but it, you know, it's, we have to see each other eating. And if we're not doing that, then we really can't regulate if we're eating correctly. You know, right. um, around the dinner table, um, when my children were young, I sat across from my son, my husband sat across from my other son, and that's how we ate. And that's how we grew up. Now, my husband ate a certain way, mm -hmm. and I noticed over time, that's how my son ate because he was looking across from him. You know, maybe a little correction or something like that. But still, that gave me the, the uh, light bulb of saying, oh, okay, okay. it's healthy and it is wonderful, but look what you get. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's my that's my, uh, my husband's favorite kid. Okay, that's his favorite kid. Okay, the one he sat across from and ate from. Okay, healthy foods. Again, healthy foods. We cannot impress that enough. Nuts are awesome. She also said when she gets stressed out, she eats nuts. So here's mm -hmm. a nut mix. You know, um, okay. Trader Joe's has them. I like, always like to talk about Winco Foods. You know, Winco Foods has mm -hmm. a bulk food section that you can go in and get all your um, your spices and your nut mixes as little or as much as you want. So I just really like to um, encourage people, go grocery shopping. You know, that's a uh, therapy too. <laughs> grocery shopping, yes, it is therapy. <laughs> because you're going through the allergy choosing something. I have a yeah. question. Yes, please. Can you okay. mentioned grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Do you, yeah, you mentioned a place you just said. Right. Okay, I have Trader Joe's. They mentioned Winco. Winco. Uh -huh. are, those, are they local? I know where Trader Joe's is. Okay, right. Well, Trader Joe's are usually all over, but the Winco that I like going to is in Lakewood, California. Okay. Now, here we are in um, South LA. Mm -hmm. So the closest one is Lakewood, and then there's another one in Pomona. Uh, I believe there's one in the Inland, Inland Empire, and mm -hmm. there's also one in Lancaster and Ventura. But um, for... Uh, Los Angeles County, okay. Lakewood is the closest one here. So we got to get on that 91 freeway. Okay, it's all right. But your food dollar goes farther. If I may say that, your food dollar food dollar goes a lot farther. And, um, you know, in this economy, we really have to make every, you know, every dime count. So even though the prices are rising in everything, they were low in the beginning. So they're not going to be as high as the grocery stores that are around us. I hate that to say that. But yeah, that, 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 that's really, you know, something that it, it kind of hurts me because yeah. here we are, 
And, you know, I'm, I'm in South LA, I'm in Hawthorne, and, I, and there's several grocery stores around me. And yet I'm going to go on the 91 freeway to go further out. So I'm always price comparing. Right. This is what I do. This is part of my job. So I do have to go on a freeway far away so I can feel better about the food dollar that I'm spending because if I go up the street, I will literally lose my mind. <laughs> I will literally lose my mind because it is too expensive, too expensive. And it, it doesn't um, last. You no, can just buy it no. one day and then the next day it's out right. of the rotting producer. So it's probably right. rotting or molding and you're wondering, looking at the expiration date, wondering how long right. has it been here? Right. So it is a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. uh, it gets a little bit exhausting. So it I does. understand why get it on the 91 freeway. <laughs> once you find a place. <laughs> once you find a place, you're going to stick with it. Once you find a place, you're going to stick with it. You know, so, and, and that's really what I do. So mm -hmm. I, I know, and, and the beautiful thing about this, uh, this grocery store is it's open 24 seven. It's employee owned. So when you go in there, there in, in that particular store, there is a pride of their employment. This is our store. So I do see because I do go to all the Winco's. Um, I do see that that one particular store, they care about their place. They care about their place to work. And um, to me, that, 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 that makes me feel good. Okay, yeah. that makes me feel good. So interesting enough, I'm in grocery stores at least four to five times a week. We understand what's going on in the world. We do understand what's been going on, you know, in the world and in, you know, in New York. Now, I have to really think about when I go in a grocery store. I have to really yes. think about, you know, okay, you know, I'm walking in the store, who's in the store, what's in the store, what am I doing, you know, and I have to exit. Exactly, where, where's the exit? Mm -hmm. You know, so when I walk in there, I walk in there, not necessarily on a defense, but I walk in there going, okay, so I'm coming in here, I'm coming to get this one thing, um, who's everybody's in here, I'm out, okay? That's mental. That's really mental. That takes, you know, that takes a toll on one, you know? So, I mean, I, I can really say that really anywhere that we go nowadays, I mean, you know, just our children in school, anywhere we go nowadays, we have to be heightened. We have to be paying attention to what's going on around us. And again, family, that affects our mental health. We have a lot of things on our plate. Okay, yeah, culinary. We have a lot of things on our plate, but having to have a certain height of awareness mm -hmm. to go to the grocery store, right. to pick up your children, yeah. to drive, to just drive. You know, I live in a flight path. Yeah, I'm, I live very close to Hawthorne Airport. I'm up and down 120th Street all the time. I see planes flying. I see planes taking off. I see right. planes landing. Mm -hmm. I, I love to see them land. I saw this one plane the other day. It was precariously landing. I was like, oh my God, it's stressing out. It's going to crash. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So that's another stressor. That's just another stressor. You know, something I like to see happening is a stressor. Okay. So all these things that we deal with and still we're just going about our way. We have to come back and de-stress a little bit. We have to come back home. Right. Close that door and come down. <laughs> so that's why going in the kitchen and preparing something, you know, that's nutritious um, really helps. Now, mind you, folks are going to cheat because, you know, mind you, I used to love the kind of ice cream. I can't eat ice cream anymore, so that's good. Okay. But, <laughs> but so now I have to reach for the nuts. Right. Now I, I make the hummus. Uh -huh. Now I'm making the soup. Now I'm reaching for the avocado. So it's just a normal thing that I'm distressing myself, okay? What's another something that we could do just to de-stress? It's quiet time, you know? It's turning off the electronics. It's turning off the social media. It's turning it off and being quiet with ourselves because all that is external. This is an inside job, people. Anything that we need as far as mental awareness, mental health, everything, it has to come from the inside. So I'm gonna come back around to those foundations because those are what's really important, okay? Journaling. Journaling is really good to write down what's going on in, on your mind, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, and it's freeing also. I've, I've never had a time when I didn't mm -hmm. write something down that was just trying to get off of my brain that was helpful, that was really helpful. 
go outside, go outside, yes. go to the park, go to the park, go sit under a tree, go smell the flowers, you know, watch the kids play. That's good for your mental, that's really good for your mental stability, you know? And mm -hmm. depend on your health condition, mm -hmm. also playing with playing the with children. The kids. Oh, with them. Oh, that's oh, playing with the kids. <laughs> Kids is also mm -hmm. is also very very important because you know of course we need the activity yes oh I'm close yep thank okay. you mm -hmm. there we go sweet and tasty fries <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and one more yes. mm -hmm. so family I really appreciate this show I really appreciate this platform that we have here because. We we're talking about some serious matters here, you know, and I have wonderful Natasha here and, you know, it's awesome that she's here and we're talking about it, we're being transparent because these are the things that are going to advance us. We have to take the time to do the work, okay? We are in a very stressful environment. Um, every day there's something that's mm -hmm. going to Every day there's something that is a challenge, it's a problem, it's an issue, it's always a finance. So we have to find that space where we can be okay mentally. Because if we're not okay mentally, none of this matters. None of this matters. You know, um, like I said, eating together, um, family. Family, family doesn't necessarily have to be blood. It could be yeah. somebody that you know, that you've known for some time, or maybe somebody you just met that you feel, you feel that you can connect with. You know, your chefs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> we family now. <laughs> and another thing, and, 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 and I have to say this because this is really what got me through my depression. Yeah, was helping people was helping people, even as a chef, even as just, you know, doing what I do, because I've done a lot of community work before I even came to culinary, was servicing people, was helping people. That was my therapy. That was really my therapy. And um, I got good at it. <laughs> I really got good at it. Okay. <laughs> so um, I think I have covered everything here. You know, again, this is Mental Health Awareness Month, but mental health awareness is every single day because we have to mind our mind, you know. Yes. It is really the only thing that, you know, we're powered by everything. We get up, we have energy, we go, but it's our mind is going to say, hey, I think you need to, you know, make sweet potato fries today. You know, I think yes. the hummus would be a little better than that hostess cupcake. Ooh, did I say hostess cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> But, but Zoog, and, you know, let me go to Trader Joe's. Because I know at least when I go to Trader Joe's, I'm going to see healthy foods, you know. Yeah. And, and that will inspire me to want to eat better, you know. Take a friend to the grocery store, you know, because <laughs> you're together, okay. <laughs> but that's really important. It's really important mm -hmm. to do things together, to find like-minded people. So, again, I want to say, you know, find like-minded like people. This Chamber of Commerce is fun. Look who I, you know, I have a platform where I can talk about healthy eating. We're helping other people every day. That's an awesome mantra. That's a wonderful foundation to stand on. It is. It really is. So I hope you have learned something from us today. Mental health awareness is important. Definitely comfort foods. You want to stay away from the sweets. If anything, go for, you know, have a tuna sandwich. That's better. You know, go get some salmon. You know that that that's that's really a lot better than what it is. And, and go ahead, you know, go sit down and have a salad with somebody. You know that, yeah. that that's really helpful. That's really helpful. Okay. If I can give you the big, and I can give you the little. So just a little. Eat a salad. Eat a salad <laughs> with someone. <laughs> Be nice to them. <laughs> Make them smile. <laughs> These are the little things that we can do. <laughs> little things add up. Little things definitely add up to big things. Okay. My name is Chef Cheryl Tate. 
My business is Nurturing Chefs LA. This is the Chef and with Cheryl show. I have the wonderful Natasha Peterson with me. Thank you so much for oh, coming. Thank you. It's thank been you. an honor and a privilege. And we are from the LA South Chamber of Commerce. And this is the Hope Foundation that brings you this program where we, were, we are helping other people every day. We thank you. And this has been an honor and a privilege to serve you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we will see you next month. How we do?